I guess. So, um, as you heard in that video, um, we got a noise, a knocking noise. So, right now, I didn't do the whole process because I believe that there's a, another video I have. I did was doing a G80. Um, so now I have one more bolt in there. Um, so I'm ready to take it out. So we're we gonna. I already ordered a new transmission on this one. Um, I believe that the noise is coming from the transmission side, but I don't know which one because that's my first time to hear that kind of noise from the transmission side. Um, on this old one, uh, we're gonna try to see if we can find that problem, and we'll see from there. Okay, so our transmission is out now. Um, so us on the store converter side, I don't see any um, like obstructing or making that knocking noise. I don't know, maybe if I'm gonna remove this. We're gonna do that um, later on. Um, my goal will be putting that new one first. And then we're gonna inspect this further because I think this is gonna stay with us for a while and then we're gonna remove the valve body and let's see what's inside there and yeah we'll see from there so I'm gonna put our new transmission now um, the important thing on this one too is the this code here um, for all pressure characteristics and usually um, if the box doesn't say that fill with uh, transmission fluid usually it comes with the transmission fluid already but later we're gonna double check still because you'll never know um, but right now we're gonna put this transmission now back to the engine side Alright guys, so I put everything back together now. So we're gonna double check our um, fluid. I know I didn't say that it needs to be top up. Um, so as you can see in here, um, this yellow one that's drain and the other one um, that's level. I should see, you can see the writing if what's, which one is level and which one is drain. So now, um, 
we got the fill hole here on the side especially if this one is in the car this is the easiest access but there's another fill hole here this side here uh, you can use that too so we're gonna remove that and then we'll put some fluid so the size of that um, allen is i'm using a hw8 so i already removed the fill hole on the other side i'm gonna remove the drain hole for the pan let's see if there's some fluid coming up here and then i have to recheck this when everything is running okay so there's some fluid there never mind we don't have to put some fluid in here right but we still have to recheck it later um once and everything is in the operating temperature so um we'll come back again once all the um, transmission and engine is in the car now so hey guys um update for this g70 um there's bad news and good news bad news is um after i replaced the transmission the noise still there so um you can hear that knocking right now yeah there's some knocking there um, it's gonna get worse or almost when it's engine warm up um, it's just on low rpm there there's a there's a slight knock there um, but my previous diagnosis was was for me it was clearly in the transmission side um, the why why I was thinking like that is maybe when the crank was turning the torque converter is turning too but of course the rest is all um stationary because it's on park because you can duplicate the noise on park but i was thinking it's gonna be on the torque converter side um but yeah so it didn't help at all so i did diagnose again uh, well you can see on my top of the screen that the noise is inhibiting right now one of the microphones is attached to the drain plug bolts so it's more noisier there compared to the transmission side um, that's why I didn't focus on the engine side because if you don't use any <coughs> equipment the noise is like straight from the transmission so now since we replaced the transmission that's why we're going to another system um, so yeah and then I just drain the oil and then remove that small cover and I found some flakes as you can see okay so the good news in this one is still not the good news but at least we have a direction right now that where's the um, noise coming from due to, um, from our evidence that there's more noise in the old pan side there's some metal flakes when I remove the old pan so we'll see on this and I'll update you guys hey guys so we'll come back on this G70 as you can see there no engine in the car engine is out this is the G70 with the um, knocking noise or an abnormal noise so yesterday I started taking it apart we just got an approval for a short block on this i was hoping for a long block so that it's not gonna be too much work for me but i guess they won't do that so um i'll update you uh, once i start taking this apart um, we'll see if we can find that um, metal filings where it where's the source from right so um i'll update you again Hey guys, so update on this our problem G7, G70. Um, I removed everything already because I'm curious on what failed. Where's that metal flakes come coming from? So remove our crankshaft there. So what we found out is 
the end of the bearing span and as you can see there right compared to our other bearings and the crankshaft see that let's suppose how it looks like but this one this one spun and it all makes sense now because this one coming from here right on this side so that's the transmission side or rear main seal um, and our microphone we put that near on the transmission too from the oil pan and on the transmission that's why if we're not using um, the microphones the noise is originating from the transmission that's why we also call the transmission but anyway that's a big lesson learned that with noises if there's some noise specifically like let's say a transmission make sure too that you know try to check whatever is moving let's say the engine side at least you know you cover your bases and as much as possible you use your microphones not only your hearing because um, like what happened on this one it's a big big uh, problem because we replace a transmission and end up it's not a transmission and found out that it's the crank bearing here or the main bearing at the very very end so one two three four and then the number four side <sighs> so I'll update you guys again and once our short duck comes back I don't have to do all this one all these kinds of um, assembly because the short block comes with a crank and the pistons already I just did this because I just want to know where's that metal flakes coming from so anyway um, I'm gonna update you guys once I get my short block once the cylinder head are back from the machine shop just to make sure that there's no metal flakes on the oil galleries um, and that's it we'll see Alright guys, so our G70 engine is done. Um, I'm just gonna put our negative cable here. We're gonna hear the first start up. Where's the cable? Ah. Okay, so I just put our coolant there, coolant and engine oil, no refrigerant yet because someone is using the machine. So let's see if we fix a problem. Um, we're gonna try to start build up the pressure for the oil. Uh, oh, no, not oil, uh, fuel. So let me try this. Turn it off at least. You know when you're trying to do an engine overhaul at least circulate the oil so in this case instead of taking out the fuel since our fuel pressure is low you can do that right okay fast i guess I can hear some squeaking or whatever is that I don't know if that's from the turbo or there's a leak somewhere let me just double check okay false alarm um, I forgot <laughs> the PCB hose that's going to the intake that's why we got that hissing sound um, I was thinking that there's a leak on the intake but anyway plug that in as you can hear that um, we're just hearing the engine right now I'm gonna let it go to operating temperature then we can start retesting if we still have that um, knocking noise like a soft knocking noise but I'm confident on this fix that it's that main bearing cap uh, main bearing and the crankshaft that's the failure 
anyway let me warm this up and I'll get back so I'm just gonna try to rev a little bit raise the rpm yeah I don't hear that knocking sound now so um, which is good we're gonna go for a test drive make sure everything is <laughs> in proper order and I, I did my job well <laughs> okay alright guys so um, yeah I'm test driving the vehicle right now so far I don't hear that noise which is good um, I think I did a very good job <laughs> um, I think no noise right no track engine light here so yeah um, so far I, the hard time that I'm just doing this is the bleeding of the coolant I don't know for some reason um, all the Genesis is always very hard to bleed the coolant um, I think that's it guys so I hope you enjoy that video I know there's nothing much of the repair it's just like what's going on in this vehicle and one more thing um, yeah so what I learned from this repair that I did on this G70 is the don't be too focused when you heard a noise from your ear right let's say in this case I mostly hear the noises coming from the transmission and then I just like you know focus on that one not even thinking on other what kind of what other systems are rotating or what other systems are moving during that knocking event right so um, yeah it's a good lesson for me to check everything before focusing on one area or one system and before you know uh, going deep so that's it guys um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time thank you for watching